All right, just going to do a little bit more uh, taxiing around and just, you know, running and charging the battery and, I don't know, just trying to find other things that are that I think can be tweaked. I've been sort of playing a little bit with my microphone as well because it's been over-modulating a little bit, so I've got the volume down a little bit. I'm keeping it away from my mouth, but because it's voice activated, do need to keep it sort of somewhat near your mouth, otherwise it won't break the squelch. Um, yeah, it's been quite busy out here today, it's Sunday, but it's quietened down a little bit now. Everybody's come in for the morning because it's starting to cloud over, which is good for me. Cherokee County Traffic Experimental 2 Tango Delta crossing uh, runway 5 midfield Cherokee. the AC on again, starting to get those sort of days where we need it, 81 degrees outside right now. Cherokee traffic, experimental 2 Tango Delta, clear of 5 Cherokee. I'm just going to do a mock run up down here like it was the first run, because we're at nice cool temps right now, only 120. You know, so I'll wait till it uh, comes up to 150 and do a, a mock sort of first takeoff climb out like I've done before. With uh, this time I'll put the fuel pump um, that goes through the secondary intercooler, put that on as well. All right, so there's my, uh, my first flight screen there. Temperature 139 or 138 on the oil. So I'm just going to use this one for this run and we'll monitor and see how it goes. So once we get to pretty much 145, 150, then I'll do this run. Make sure I'm like really got the brakes on firm. Still be standing on them as well. All right, 143. All right, need to cool the fuel coming on here. I'll start that going. I'm going to be watching for a low fuel light there when that tank drains down, but I don't think it drains down quite so quick when there's more fuel in the straight tanks because it has more pressure and it feeds back in more quickly rather than if it's, uh, they're empty, they don't feed back in very fast. Uh, 147. There's 150, here we go. Cooler temps 204, oil's 201, but 
at about 90% throttle, it's maintaining about 1590 on the uh, turbine inlet temperature. Coming up again now, 1610, pull it back to about 80. All right. All right, we'll let that cool off a little bit now. Cherokee County Classic uh, Arrow uh, 2 Charlie Alpha is taking off runway 5, departing to the south, Cherokee. Well, that was encouraging, so the... Um the uh, fuel delivery, delivery that I have right now is set so at 100% throttle it got up to about 1700 on the um, turbine inlet temperature and I want to sort of max it out at 1650. I pulled it back to about 90% and for a while there before the engine oil temps and stuff started to come up it was actually staying below 1600. I went to 1500 and something so that's, that's actually really encouraging that I can uh, run it and once there's some air flowing through the whole thing you should be able to hold it at 90 percent um, power there without it uh, getting too hot and then the fuel low lights come on so I'm going to turn that off now um, and I'll look at the logs for that sort of run to see how it was but uh, that was pretty encouraging um, pretty happy about that even though it's 80 degrees 82 outside right now so uh, yeah good I did make an adjustment on when the AC comes back on now. Uh, I've got it, it was set to 100 degrees Celsius, um, it was 212 with a 3 degrees Celsius um, deviation on there. So. Church County traffic, Skyhawk 54041 is about 5 miles to the south landing. Would have to get got to about 209 on the coolant temp before the AC would have turned back on. Um, so uh, now I've changed it to 105 Celsius plus the three degrees. So that buys me another five Celsius, so another nine degrees uh, Fahrenheit. But now it should come on and come back on about 218, 217, 218. It's 226 right now. Um, so we'll see when it gets back to about 218 if the AC doesn't kick back on. Right now it's just the fan running and it's not too bad in here. That's one thing, it'd be nice to have a cabin temp, <laughs> a temp, cabin temp uh, gauge because this doesn't really have it, it has what you want to set it at but it doesn't have what it's actually reading right now. Probably just shove a thermometer on the thing, the panel there, not a bad idea. Uh, 223 on the corner. Cherokee County traffic arrow, 3222 Charlie Alpha is the parking area to the south, last call Cherokee County. Uh, traffic departed Cherokee County. We're about uh, one mile to the east of the water tower, water tank. Just uh, just let you know, we're coming from the south. Roger, thanks, we got you on ADSP. Okay, we're planning on just coming in behind you. If you just want to head a little bit more southeast for initially, we'll be right behind you. This sounds good, we're right now climbing about three or 3,000 a second here. Two seventeen. Two fifteen. Uh, I think I need to set it a little higher, maybe. Two fourteen. Oh, let me switch back to the screen. Oh, it is on now. Okay, so yeah, it was about two fifteen when it came back on. All right, let's see how long it takes to cool the cabin down again. And the oil temp now is back to 224. Uh, operating temp is just the thermostats hold it at 217, so we're only seven degrees away from that. And the coolant's 212 now, and that'll go back to about 190. That's where it kind of maintains itself, usually just taxing around on a day like today. 190 something. And the fuel's still trickling down in the tanks, into the header tank, because I'm seeing eight and seven on the straight tanks right now, and that was uh, sort of six and six before. Um, so that whole transfer of fuel there definitely uh, 
pulls fuel out of the oil more quickly than it drains it back in. Um, but again, it's you really only need that for takeoff because the fuel is circulating all the time because of the return from the injection system um, on the engine. There is a return feed to the tanks and that goes out into the strakes as well. So there's always uh, recycled fuel going back into the headers, but this pump with the uh, through the intercooler just uh, adds more, puts more in there um, more quickly and obviously sends it through the intercooler to to cool down the uh, in the intercooler. Cherokee County County traffic says no five four zero four one is on the left down in runway five Cherokee. Yeah, it puts it through the intercooler to cool down the air intake charge temperature. I guess that's everything for today. It's kinda of nice in here now. It's AC's got it down here, it's quite comfortable sitting here. 81 outside and it's probably, I don't know, 65 in here or something like that. With the sun coming in, it feels a little bit warmer than that, so. Cherokee traffic experimental to Tango Delta, crossing runway five, midfield Cherokee. Cherokee Unicom, Cessna 12 Hotel Radio Test. Hey, you're allowed and clear, sir. You're coming in loud and clear. So, uh, one of the things I'm thinking about doing uh, once we get this in the air, hopefully that happens and everything goes smoothly, is uh, potentially doing um, a video, putting out a video every day and having um, the first hour after dropping the video um, responding to any comments and questions that you guys might have just to get like a whole level of engagement there that we haven't had before. Um, I'm sure there'll be tons of questions and things like that. So uh, I'm kind of planning on doing that, keeping busy, um, you know, with make, doing, you know, flights every day and trying to get the 40 hours flown off as quickly as possible. Um, and then you know, make a video every day for you guys. So we'll see how that plays out. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments of this one if you'd be interested in watching a video every day. They might be a half an hour. It'll be as long as a half an hour long. Maybe you guys don't have time to watch what would be three and a half hours of video a week if, uh, if I end up doing that. It'll just be... Turkey traffic, Sky 54041 is turning. Final runway 5, Turkey. Initially, it would just be for the first, um, you know, 40 hours of flying, and then uh, from then, as I start trying to get this thing sorted out with the, my production plans, um, you know, I'll be flying it around and I'll be making videos as well. We'll see. I'm not sure how often I'll do that, but uh, you know, if I'm flying, I'd like to take video, and if there's anything interesting to show you, um, I'll do that. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's uh, another quick little video for you. And uh, we'll see how we go on the next one. Uh, thanks again for watching. Cheers. Mm -hmm.